14.48 said Zelensky is evaluating presidential elections in spring. Minister said that Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky is considering pros and cons of holding presidential elections next spring. The Ukrainian president evaluates and weighs different pros and cons, said Dmitro Kuliba, adding in a briefing that the elections during the war with Russia would lead to unprecedented difficulties. Responding a U.S. senator's call to announce elections in 2024 this week in August, Zelensky said that voting could be done at time of war if partners shared cost. Legislators approved and everyone went polls. However, he also raises his concerns. The logic is that if you are protecting democracy, you have to consider this protection even in times of war. He said, elections are one of the guards. However, there is a reason why elections are prohibited by law in times of war. Elections are very difficult to make. The former actor and comedy had no political experience other than playing the role of president. A television series which he won an overwhelming victory the presidential elections Ukraine 2019. Updated on 17.23 set 16s ago. 19.00 set White House said on Friday that the U.S. has begun sending smaller military aid packages to Ukraine to expand support as it is deadlocked in Congress on funding Ukraine. White House press spokesman Karine Jean-Pierre said that when discussing new aid, the aim was to extend ability to support Ukraine as much as possible. Six minutes ago, 18.54 set USA announced a new 425 million military aid package for Ukraine, which includes air defense and artillery ammunition and anti-tank weapons. This equipment is part of the 125 million equipment from the U.S.'s existing military stocks, along with light gun ammunition, destruction ammunition, and other items. The package also includes 300 million laser-guided ammunition to be used against unmanned aerial vehicles, which will be financed through the Ukrainian Security Aid Initiative. This means that ammunition should not be obtained from American stocks, but from the defense industry or partners. So it will not reach the battlefield immediately. The Pentagon said in a statement that USAI financing was provided by Congress in late September, with an ongoing decision to temporarily fund the government. But it's now over the statement stated that the package consumed the remaining USAI funds currently available to support Ukraine. The Pentagon also supported by saying that Ukrainian aid is a smart investment in our national security. The statement said it helps prevent a larger conflict in region and discourages possible attacks elsewhere, at the same time strengthening our defense industry base and creating highly skilled jobs for American people. The U.S. has donated more than $44.2 billion since Moscow invaded Ukraine in February 2022, becoming by far the largest security aid donor to Ukraine. However, some Republicans oppose the continuation of aid to